Welcome to the Seven Crosses series for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. And we're picking up on the 4th of February 1961. And you can see that my objective of trying to asphalt all the way across this centre road here has gone pretty well. But before we get into the gameplay, as usual, a big thank you for your comments and feedback. You guys give me so much to think about. One of the comments I did get was related to the farm here. And I think it's time that I really need to bring this farm online so that I can automate this process and that will allow me to concentrate more on the expansion out here. That is something I do want to do. The other thing I've also realized is that these uh, distribution offices here aren't actually on this cargo station. They're actually delivering directly to this warehouse, which is not exactly good. So I'm going to need to make the changes there. But I think for the moment, I'm quite happy with them just picking up from this warehouse here at the moment. The other thing I would also like to do is get this second warehouse done so that I can effectively get rid of this grain store. And so if we get the two storage here, we've got the battery links. And I think that will make life a little bit easier because then I can have one connection that can deliver to both warehouses. That's a change I do want to make. Some Somebody also posted a comment about no longer using trucks to deliver the clothes and eventually i will get there but i think at the moment I, I still want to stick with this because we've only got this small clothes factory here and um, because these um, areas here only have very restricted um storage for clothes because no, i haven't built associated warehouses i think this one no it's this one up here see these have only got three tons of clothes i think at the moment because i'm using these buildings i'm going to stick with the trucks and i think that also applies oh, we've got a new type of vehicle that's an ambulance that's okay that's good and I think that also applies down here over in Colton because we've only got this corner market at the moment and you can only store three tons. But what I'll eventually do here is build this warehouse because eventually I'm going to build a town that will be a lot more focused on producing clothes. And then what we'll be doing is bringing the clothes in by rail. Although, to be honest, back over here, I will probably just leave the little clothes factory here because in the long term this farm here will probably just be supplying food and what basically what it's already supplying to here and backing up uh colton over here so eventually the food will be coming from probably up here so what i want to do is build quite a big farming community there but of course we need to get there first now i did get a suggestion for a new name for colton and somebody actually said call it colville so we're going to change this to not colton we're going to call it colville now uh, i think it's v e i l l e whoops like that i'm just going to call this colville uh, i know that it's going through a number of iterations i'm trying to see i think what other comments have been posted somebody also talked about the wood cutting of which I was doing over here because I was using wagons and I, I think this has been a very interesting experiment because truthfully the wagons are starting to get past their sell by date because as, as was pointed out in the comment I really need to get more some trucks in here to make this a little bit more efficient I think that's something I do want to do we'll probably start over here as you can see at the moment our heating plant now is running in real time but as far as I know, it's still kind of hot, holding up with the hot water tanks here at the moment. However, from the perspective of an early start, I think the wagons work quite well. It's just that they're now getting a little bit dated and I do need to replace them with vehicles. The other thing I don't understand, and maybe you guys can help me with this, is now I've always had the impression that it's the workers that do the cutting and the lorries that do the picking up because... What you see is you get all these bits of wood laying all over the woods here. And I always get the impression that the idea is, is that you've got your workforce is going out effectively um, swinging the chainsaws and chopping this wood down. So it's almost like it's being cut down in an arbitrary way because you've got a whole rim, rim out of here. But I haven't seen any trucks actually um, cutting trees down. All, all I see is them then go out, they load up and bring the, um, the wood back. And I'll just watch this one, just to see if it speed up a little bit. Because what you'll see is this guy comes out here. He's only picked up one load. Interesting. 
It makes me wonder whether the it depends on distance. And the other thing I do wonder about, because you can't tell how much is in these logs. If we got we watch the cart here. I just want to go and watch this cart. So we've got three tons. I'm just seeing whether the that pile of logs will disappear when he's finished. So he's got three tons. He kind of sits there. It's almost like he's waiting for something to happen. I'm wondering whether there are some efficiency losses due to the fact that he's only got a three ton carry capacity. Just go out, follow, just follow this guy again. I know it's not particularly exciting. I'm just curious. So he's on there, what, there. And he's picking up 2.2 tons. So he's gone straight through the 4.5. And then he's picked up 4.5 from that one. See what this guy's doing. And I think this where might be where the efficiency actually is. So he's, you can see his pickup is a lot slower. And, but he's actually left that behind. So I'm just wondering whether each one of these poles represents a certain amount of tonnage. But it's a bit difficult to actually kind of calculate that. Anyway, I've got a little bit digressed from that. And I think we just need to get down to some actual gameplay now. Overall, things are going quite well. I'm um, 16th of February, and I've managed to get the asphalt road all the way out to here. I think I'm very tempted just to push my luck a little bit further and do that road there. Because I, I would like to get to this point here. And the way I actually managed to do this was by literally just giving the uh, road crew a single job so that the paver could get out here and have all the asphalt trucks lined up so that it's all working quite fast. Now over here uh, we did reasonably well population wise you can see I actually the population actually held up all the way through the winter and so I think this heating plant worked very well actually I'm quite happy with the way that worked and we're now working on building up this area here. The coal mine is moving forward what i want to do now is literally shift all the focus up to here i would like to get the coal this coal mine built the aggregate store built and the ore processing plant and the other objective that i do would like to do in this video is get this construction site finished because so i think it's time now for this large construction site to take control of this area and then this construction site over here We'll start to focus a little bit more on this infrastructure here. And more importantly, this is something I really want to get up and running, is this railway. I, I really feel that having the railway up and running is going to make a fantastic difference to the overall problem. So that's something I do want to focus on very much. And it will mean that the excavators in this area won't have to go along the main road here, which is quite important as well. So we saw electricity problems. I keep getting the electricity problems from here and I think what's going to happen is that once the power station comes online over here we're going to scrap this this is this has just been a complete failure so that's something else that's going to get taken away now something else I'm starting to think of is a second town out here because we've got some quite nice flat area here I can show you a flattish area actually I'm thinking possibly another farming community out here and we can push out here. In fact, something I have been thinking about is we've got this road I brought out to here and if I brought the main map up, what I'd like to do is come through here. I mean, this isn't kind of really practical this is just me kind of feeling that I need to connect up the actual road here we're going to come through there well ah, I've overshot okay we'll just come in there actually no we can come there and then I trim that road back a bit and 
Um, the other thing I wouldn't mind doing is we got oil up there. So if I run a road right the way through to there. I know it doesn't seem that practical, but I just wanted to get some structure here. So we're going to need to build a town here, which is going to be providing our oil. And then, as I say, what we've got here on this kind of area here is a potential for a farm, which would then lead across to this area here where it would be a farm. So what I'm thinking is a quite a big farming community through here. And we could possibly produce some food over there. But of course, we really need to get this up and running at the moment. Let's just have a look through here. But we've now got this building built. It's, got, it's only got 90 here. No one lives here. But what we can do is just move over some of our over 21s. <laughs> Vast number of over 21s again. We've got 393. I think we can probably pull out about 38 out of there and we got over 25 there but I don't want to fill this block up completely so what we're going to do is put like one two three four on there and we'll take one two three four from there and what that should do is just leave a little bit of slack on the top so that we don't get an over 21 problem in here and of course the problem is that this heating plant can only provide us at 500 cubic meters of water so this is going to be another for 90 so we're going to be start pushing our luck here with respect to heating so we're just going to have to live with those over 21s here so the, the harvest has started these guys are still shipping out there i can't remember whether i'm actually exporting food at the moment i'm still, I'm still exporting food at the moment and we're in march I think until well, well that's a thousand I think what we're going to do is we're just going to keep exporting food until this warehouse runs out and then we're trying to move these trucks around a little bit and in fact I think what I am going to do is I'm going to make a change here so what I'm going to do is just find the warehouse um, big build there it is there. I'm just going to remove you and we're going to put you what we're going to do is actually start using the proper building here. And I think by having this here, we'll have a bit of efficiency. The thing I will kind of like to do, which is, an, it probably won't. No, this is another reason why I'd like to get rid of this warehouse because if I can get rid of this silo. What I can do is put a road through here, so we have a, a road, a square round here. Yeah, actually, one thing I wouldn't mind doing is this will come to here. And these guys actually love the road there. We're in March now, so we can't interfere with the thing. But what I would like to do is put in this. Actually, we, we'll do this with one of these with asphalt and one with gravel. And what that might do is encourage the vehicles to come across here a bit. So overall, we're doing okay. Just want to check. I can't remember if I... Yeah, I did bring all the tractors in here. I think this house is finished and it's filled up automatically because if in the last part I got this one here and this is the bit of the problem I've got is the fact that we've got the surplus of population that's given this area here when we got 247,000 rubles um, but at the same time I don't really want to spend let me just have a look here uh, I think maybe we'll replace one of these and we're just going to kind of replace these over time just let the game run again come in here tree felling capacity I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to blow the 20,000 on this guy and 
Let's see if we can get these all up to 10 ton. Bring in, in the goods that were. Let's allocate you to there. And hopefully that will. Because the other thing I'm thinking is if I can get some surplus here, I could possibly send it up to here just to guarantee the heating process. Although it doesn't look like I've really got a problem here. How are we doing here? Somebody did talk about increasing the brick capacity here. Um, maybe we will. We'll just push that up a little bit more to say 85 tons. So that we've got a more of a carry capacity here. Though I'd say that we've probably got a little bit of a, a brick shortage here. Uh, we do need to keep an eye out on the um, from the point of view of but see we've got oh, we got this all we got these all over the place at the moment. Um got here. Tons of jobs now. We're down to three. So the coal mine, the university and construction. Uh, I'm I think what I might do is because uh, let me just check something. Yeah, we got the cranes. So what I'm thinking is we need these conveyor belts here. The other thing I also haven't done is power actually, come to think of it. We haven't got any power supply in here. Well, oh, that's a bit of a fail. Okay, we need to put power in. <laughs> What I'd like is a power a substation here that will cover we don't need to cover that. I want to cover this coal mine as well, so I think if we put you in say about there, I think we'll put a, a mud road there because the fire station is here. Though we could probably do with some extra fire trucks in there now. This is prob could probably draw a lot of power, so there's no point putting a splitter in. I don't want to go underground, so but I want to keep this area open just in case. So I think what we'll do is we'll kind of... I know it's not maximum efficiency, but I just don't want to put a power line across the centre of there. I'd rather take the extra costs this way. Hmm you about there uh, getting into here is going to be fun so we've got power to there now I can't remember how so you've got there so we need another substation we need to cover that conveyor terminal there but we don't need on the aggregate so what we're probably looking at is no we need it somewhere about here don't we i put it say about about there we we get a, a little mud road in there actually no i'm gonna put this in as a gravel road because you're a bit further away from the life as such. We'll assign the knife edge road crew to that. And then again, we're going to take a maximum capacity medium supply line from here. It'd be nice to get that there. And we're aiming roughly for there. Hmm. I could get that stay over there which I wouldn't mind coming in we're, we're coming about there there so we we need the power connection into here first I think what we will do is I'm going to assign this to the main construction put you on the main construction as well I might just build the power lines out to here um, actually I've just had a sudden thought where do I put my 
electro components now. Oh, we got five tons of electro components in here. I'm not actually sure. Are we still importing them? Yeah, we are. You can see here now, this asphalted road here is making, making quite a big difference of the speed of the vehicles through here. But, the, but it still won't be helped if we get a, a bulldozer or something coming down this road. We do need to consider that. Come here. How are we doing over here now? Let's find the open hole. Let's see what how well is he going. Why are you not going out and picking up? Seems to be a little bit confused over what he's meant to be doing. No, oh, he's actually gone out now. Okay, let's just follow him and see what he's doing. Pick him up. Let's see, he's got a 12 ton carry capacity. Are you picking up the full 12 tons? Or are you just... So he's picked up three tons. He's in there somewhere. Hmm. He's literally just picked up four tons. So in some ways, that's a bit of a waste, isn't it? I think he's got problems with all the... Okay, I'm not going to waste you. Yeah, you... I'm going to reassign you. Just pause. That's a waste of a 12-ton truck. I think what we're going to do is put him onto there. And what I've got, I think I've, what I've got here is a smaller open hole. That's a dumb. Actually, he's not, he's not, he's an, is he an open hole? Did I buy a dumper by mistake? No, I couldn't have bought a dumper by mistake. He's, I, I think I'd rather have him. I think I'd rather have him. Uh, we're going to put you onto there, I think. That means we're going to be one truck short over here now. Starting to wonder whether putting big trucks on there is, is a bit of a waste of resources. And maybe this smaller one would be better. Yeah, I think we'll just put that there. I know I shouldn't be spending the money, but we got we've got it. Maybe we'll put the smaller truck onto here. Yeah. Actually, what I will do is I'm just wondering whether this might be whether this guy's got um, a performance issue related to the trees. Um, just put here. Just put it in this area here. Got to keep the wood coming in. I think, what's it? We're on the 12th of, about 8th of April. That's already growing. We're not doing bad, actually. You're down to 831. I think it's now time, I think, to suspend my food exports. I'm just gonna knock that off. Actually, no, just leave that on there for the moment. Because we're we're still in April and we are going through the crops. We I think we do need to ensure that we don't get this here. A little tractor coming back this way. These haven't started sowing, so we're actually sowing these. One thing I do want to do is just check the allocations. You're good. You're good. Where's the new construction office? Yep. 
you're exporting boards. In the long term, what I'll probably do is make this into the distribution warehouse that bring the crops from this warehouse here to the these, and then eventually the 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 trucks in this area will effectively take on a new role. In fact, I'm probably going to pinch one of these trucks as a delivery truck for the construction office over here when it's finished. We don't over here. What's going on? So we got any guy university. So and it needs gravel and boards. And it's short of gravel. Who's allocated to you? I think we're at Colville. These ones here. Now these small construction offices. What I will do eventually is is effectively just get rid of them. It's like this one over here as well. This excavator is. I know it's stood around doing nothing at the moment, but eventually it will go into here so we'll just gather up all the equipment from these two and put them into there when i've, I've got a bus here that doesn't actually anything to do with these guys unemployed no we don't seem to have any unemployment in this area at the moment i'm wondering whether i can should push my luck a little bit and put in another one of these but I'm not right. I do need to get this working. You can see this is this is taking time, um, and the workforce is going to be the issue. Then you guys seem to want to work so hard. Uh, just keep you busy. I know it's a bit irrational but I'm gonna I wanna start pushing this road out. I think we'll give him that and we and seeing we've we've got some kind of how can you say downtime get this built out here it will mean that when the time comes to expand out this way which we're definitely going to this will do it and in fact I think what I might do is once this is built we might start asphalting out here straight away as well so we'll have to asphalt out through here we've got 244 but we're probably getting regular escapees here yeah, but the happiness is good everything else is good yeah, I want to put a food factory in here I don't want to build any further in there. We could put something here, but in fact, I think what I might do is we'll put in what can I put in here? Got a 1930s apartment, short version. To Like 165 people. What is that? I've never built one of these. 51 tons of bricks. I don't. But then again, that is. That's 60 workers. That's 50 workers. 45 workers. That's 90 workers. I don't really want to commit to that. Actually, there's a commune here. Oh, wow, that's a bit big. Circle commune. Medium commune. Never built a commune. Um, there's 60 workers. How big's that? Okay, let's just take a look at this. Uh, I've never built one of these, and it's not. I mean, it's not like it's massive. I think we're going to build a commune here just for the fun of it. Um, let's put you there. I know it's not a going to contribute a massive amount to the overall scheme of things, but. If we come there, connect that up, this should get auto detected by the road crew. I'm just curious to see what this actually looks like. I mean, if this works well, this could be something I could use in my Four Corners series. I mean, it looks like it's like a village community here. 
I think that's looking pretty good. We've got that here. How are we doing here? We're on the 28th of April. Um, you're harvesting. You're harvesting. You're gro you, so you're finished. You're finished. And this is the final one that's been so. I think this might explain why these are quite late coming online. I think if I got a second farm here, the way I'm thinking is that if I put a second farm in there, we can balance this with the uh, tractors and the combines. And then effectively what we'll do is we'll have field, these fields coming across here and then these fields coming across here. So one farm will surface this top bit and another one will surface this bit at the bottom here. Oh, well, that's a theory anyway. Of course, we've got a little bit of space down here for some more fields and we've got some space up here. So we can increase the capacity so that these two farms work at a certain level of efficiency. What I need to do now is we're just going to remove you and we're going to put you onto... And at the moment, you're just going to load until the harvest season starts. I mean, it's going to put a lot more traffic onto this bit of road, but um, that's the way it is. Actually, I wouldn't mind Are you. I think you're on the the roll a bit, so I think what we will do is gonna asphalt through there. And what we're trying to do is get these roads asphalted as well. So, Fire extinguished. Oh, we had a fire. Well, what was that? Oh, that was a bit close. Uh, gonna be a bit painful. Um, how are we doing here? So it looks like the we may be getting to a point where steel is a limiting factor. We may have to get some more um, dumpers bringing in coal or something like that. You've been there. What's this? Is a mechanism. Let's just try something. Are you allocated? You're kind of doing nothing. Let's, let's allocate to there. Let's see if we can wake that excavator up. Uh, maybe he doesn't need an excavator. as we probably finished the groundworks yeah we're laying bricks bricks always seems to be a bit of an, a problem sometimes yeah you've got ex excavators there as well so yeah i'm wasting my time what's this this is technical services we do need to build this as well but the this needs to be the priority yeah you need electro components boards and stuff like that Actually, let's just allocate you this as well. You can provide the support. Actually, just get you onto that as well. If you're doing nothing, we might as well get you get you busy, 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 busy. I mean, if we got we had unemployment over here. Actually, I think I'm going to take a chance. We're just going to open up this rope, this area here. What we'll do is we're. I can't remember if I've actually allocated you to the Colville bus platform. And if we start to get a few workers in here, what we might be able to do is this guy can send his bus down and try and pick some people up here. Well, I think he's sending his bus down. And then we can get workers in here. If I actually unspecified let me just check to make sure I mean I could send workers to I mean, where are all these workers going then are oh, they're probably actually yeah a lot of them are going over to here to build the university so that's okay and once this is built then maybe they will go there and then we will get some workers going out there so you need some gravel. I do really need to start thinking about upgrading some of these. 
spiracles in here. Let's have a look. Start looking at this a bit more carefully and a bit more seriously. We've got an open hole here. Um, the you only delivering three tons of steel. Truthfully, these guys are uh, a little bit redundant now. Yeah, three tons. You you can deliver that. I think uh, we're going to sell you because we've got we've got these open holes now that are do, can do the main deliveries. You got a 4.5 ton dumper there. I think what would do actually let's have a look in here. What have you got dumper wise? Because you're going to need the range. Um, I think most of these are pretty good, aren't they? So I think what we'll do is we'll buy a better dumper here um, we'll get this one this one's 70 kilometers an hour as well you can go into there what else have we got in here vehicle wise I mean we got the excavators we got one left here which Ideally, what I'd like to do is put over here, working on this area here. I think at the moment we don't have a shortage of gravel, do we? But I think that final excavator will probably go into somewhere up here. How's the fuel situation here? Let me just check. Uh, got 10 out of 12 tons Let's see what the overall fuel situation is right, this has been this doesn't need that much so I think what we'll do is we'll just walk just gonna allocate you there I mean we got unemployment here yeah with 17 workers without jobs. 14 workers we got quite a yeah, we got quite a lot of unemployed workers and they're all in this area I mean the over 21s are just literally escaping because they're reaching 20 um whatever it is I think is it 30 and once they get to 30 they just leave anyway but we're overall holding up we got pretty good advanced education basic we got we are getting it we just got lots of unemployed workers in this area but I can't see maybe buses so to be honest I, I quite like these size buses I mean we've got four um, buses here dropping off workers so right let's just look at the construction office here wow you gotta be kidding me here these guys are not messing about. Okay, we're going to give you an asphalt job. <laughs> Getting a little bit ballistic. I think we're going to asphalt this out. Because I don't feel the need to have any more roads over here at the moment. This is purely construction. I mean, eventually we will be pushing a road out here. But the crew will be doing that is this maybe I do need to put some storage out here say in the form of uh, a gravel drop off or something let's just have a look construction if I put a small aggregate store say about here put it there I don't want it on the main road so say for argument's sake I put it there and then I'll put a small open store. Right, so why won't you? Uh, probably. Okay, we'll put the open store here. Shoot. Can I put it there? 
Why is it complaining about infrastructure? Oh, there's a... What's that there, then? Oh, power lines. Now, we can build this warehouse to store mechanical components and electrical components. What we really need is a, a small open store. Say about... Okay, what we're going to have to do is put the open store here. Technically, they're temporary constructions. So what we'll do is add the knife page roll crew. I think we'll put Nakomo on it because these are a little bit shorter than they should be. We'll put knife edge on here and Nakomo as well. And then what we can do is get the supplementary storage out here. And then we can start using a distribution office to we're going to need a distribution office as well aren't we okay where can i put the distribution office i want it to stay in range of the fire and go modded we want got d6 would that be enough to haul rubble down actually that one looks quite nice and tons of bricks 38 oh yeah we'll go with that it's got space for 20 vehicles so if we slip that just in about there maybe make the road a little bit longer so we can build it and then um, kate you to nikomo as well and what that will do is allow us to bring we can get some dumpers in here and open holes and we can start bringing the the building resources down into this area and that will i mean it's not so much for this area it's going to be more for us when we push out that way i'm going to come here okay guys you you like building out here so much we're going to get you to uh, get you to put the tarm asphalt out here and we'll start pushing the road out this way and I'm kind of thinking road town here because we're going to need to bring fuel and power out here which means we're going to need to bring fire protection out so maybe war stock is going to be our intermittent staging town in fact it's not that far away from there so if we say we build it yeah i mean that could work we could get some farming going and items out that way as well what's the harvest here We're on the 7th of june how's the down to 496. I'm going to have to flip these once we the harvest starts in July. The other thing I'm going to need to think is how I can asphalt through here. I think what we'll probably have to do is build like a, a temporary road in parallel through here while we actually asphalt that. Um, through here but that again that could be a winter job when everything slows down really nicely here we see right we've built the substation but it's got no power supply goes without saying because it needs a mechanism we've nearly finished the coal mine i think this would be a quite a big step forward once we got that done and then what we're going to need to do is I think uh, now I'm not going to load that in just yet I mean, I mean I know the coal mines a bit of a contradiction we need to get this up if we can get this through here to the aggregate store of the coal mine then we can get some workers up here still got no workers here though I'm not exactly sure where all my workers are going. I mean, we got 
several hundred here, but I can't see how all these are employed in this area. But they could be, I suppose. I think I need another fire engine. Just gonna pick up a fire engine from here. A truck. So we're getting some better fire trucks now. Ten. Well, it's gonna allocate you to. We need to beef up the fire coverage here now because of the way things are. I suppose if you, we can. I mean, if we reduce this down. Now we got here fourteen. Maybe we're. Maybe these are just too high for the population. So we're kind of wasting staff here. In kindergarten, I want to. Well, we could probably juice you down a bit as well. Because of course, every one of these jobs is is actually you've got to multiply by three. Uh, just reduce the hospital coverage as well. We've got to create some unemployment so that people can. I've got this here. We certainly want to reduce this down. <laughs> um, I don't want. I mean, oops, that's where it's a bit too low. Anybody else here? Eating plant. Um, now nah, I think we we'll have to leave that at ten. We'll just drop you down a little bit as well. I need some unemployment here, please. Right, we've nah. So now the university is finished. We're actually getting some workers in here. That's good. Where are you going? Oh, yeah. So we're now getting the workers into the construction office. Good. I think for the moment, we'll just work with this population. And then work on maybe making extra space over here. Oh, we well, that finished quickly. We got our 60 workers in here. I'm going to work out a job. Actually, I really like that, actually. Even though that does look like it's got a church in the centre, but I presume that's purely decorative. I kind of would like to... I think that kind of fits in with the overall kind of psyche here. I'm very tempted to build another one. I know it's not brilliant. Oops, no. Don't want to do it that way. But I actually quite like that look. A shame, wow. I mean, that would have been pretty awesome, but it wouldn't have fitted in there. And it to me, it seems a very kind of low budget, got a little small commune here. How many people are in this? 30 workers. How many 14 bricks and boards? Yeah, what I'm going to do is put this in, you know, the medium community can't get that in. Oops. Then just pause for some reason there. I think what we're going to do is just put you on this corner. Uh, maybe uh, this way. No. Can we get that in there? So you're like side by side. Yeah, we're going to put that there. What I'd love to do is just put, we can sneak a, a path through there, but this probably won't, yes, it, will, it will connect. The only trouble is, because this overlaps now, I don't think that will work. I it will, it's done it. Now, I think we'll just do the one connector there. And we'll just put another commune in here. I mean, that, in some ways, that fits with the the actual farming here the only question is, is have I got too far away from the source of food well to be honest it's a small amount of resources if necessary I can always knock it down I just like have the idea of having this little corner 
are looking almost like a village buildings here. Well, we could make those people homeless. Maybe I do need to build something out here for another population. The problem is the heating plant. I think these need input path connections, don't they? So, uh, put you in there, you in there. Uh, put the knife edge crew on this. They can come out and do this. Uh, you've got here, knife edge crew. Maybe we will build this up. Uh, we could put the old corner block in, which is the same as... Uh, how how many people are in this? we got an old corner block there, an old gatehouse block there. Okay, we're on July. Yeah. Yes, I know you're about power supply, but... I think we can get you now on the Como Large. Let's see that you can take over from these. So, how many jobs have I got on the Como Large now? Now, well, these guys aren't messing about. And what we'll do is, and the connection doesn't exist yet, so. I think we can put Nakomo Large on here. Let's make sure uh, this is actually in range, just about in range with the shops, so that's about it. I don't think this is keeping up, and we've got a bit of money to spend. We got here covered hole, covered hole, dumper, dumper. Where are you? I think you've outused. <laughs> Wait. I think it's time to sell you. And what we're going to do is get a couple of bigger dumpers in here. Or so that we can get more stuff into the uh, we're gonna get a couple of these and then you're going to get you into here because we need more coal and iron into the steel mill here As you can see we're not actually doing it what's the you're twenty percent. So you're not even currently matching the twenty percent requirement. Although twenty percent of twenty tons is nothing, isn't it? Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to push this up a bit more. Uh, we're going to make this to forty percent, just to really get them going. I've just noticed that I'm going over long on the video again, as usual. Uh, where you're off, you're probably off to deliver something. And I just want to do a quick check of my crops. Well, that is pretty good. I'm happy with that because we're on the 6th of July and these are just about to start running out, which I think is probably fits this quite well. So this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.